Hello friends, this is one of my art pieces. It's for sale and it has a name. Essentially what I was making when I made this painting was the whole idea of construction, destruction and construction at the same time, but it was not the main point. The main point was, is, that this is a portal of infinity to your own divinity. It's like going through, being in a world, going through massive change. Ta-da! Now this one, this one, <clears throat> This had a lot to do, I'm sure you can see it. Um, I'm not gonna tell you what it is right away. I want you to look. I want you to look at, where's the microphone? The microphone's on this side. Yeah, okay, I'll talk on this side. Okay, so this is Gaia, um, the energy of the feminine. Here she is, and she's holding the earth space. And this is the fiery force of evil, really, that's trying to get there. But see, she's really able, she's almost getting it. But people have to go in, they have put, people have to go into their dark side. They have to go into their shadow. And maybe they have to experience their biggest fears. M maybe we have to experience our biggest fears now and not succumb to them, to, to not cave. This is a spiritual test, and I have been tested. Everyone's been tested on different levels. I know what level I've been, I've been tested on. But I wrote you something, so let, let me read it. Oh, I wanted to show you together. This is really cool. So if you want to buy them, let me know. See how they, they flow together? <laughs> you see that? So, so they, they're... I painted this one first. So I felt like we were in this great... We're in this... Hold on. We're in this great battle within ourselves and, and I'm, let me see if I can make myself not so white. There, there we go. We're in this battle um, on the planet and it's, it's a battle of the good and the evil. And evil can only get you if you have your, if you, if you're your own undoing. If you're your own undoing, it's like the the tail of the vampire that's knocking on your window, they can't come in without your permission. So you have to recognize that thoughts are not necessarily yours, and you have to frown as much as possible and get outside. And that's what I've had to do all day long today. <laughs> anyway, I wrote you something because I felt like it. I'm going to read it. Um, this is mainly for myself. And so because I felt, I feel this way about me, I'm going to share it with you, okay? August 2020. Stop being lazy. Cease waiting. Time to paint, draw, write poetry, dance, create. Just make something. Whatever it is, a cake, a baby, a balloon sculpture, you know, like the little dots and dogs, the clowns used to do at birthday parties. <laughs> clown creations, clown around. Clown around, have fun. But be also vigilant. You want to watch for the signs, but you're not going to find them anywhere on the internet anymore. And besides, you have to prepare for what may happen if, they, if the internet and everything, including your cell phone, goes down for three days or whatever, like the friggin' Bible. Everyone keeps touting about three days of darkness. Wham, wham, wham. All right. Well, if it happens, it's probably going to happen in December, like the uh, solstice, maybe. <laughs> so, 
You better prepare yourself, all right? Have a plan. Anyway, um, I don't want to be a fear monger, -er, but those were some of the things that I was dealing with today, thinking about could it be a possibility. And I wanted to uh, not be afraid, and I wanted um, to also feel what it feels like to be afraid, because everyone's right now, their fear is coming up for them. But good news is astrologically, we're going to have Mercury. Oh gosh, August is going to be a good year. Let me show you this. So, uh, August is a good month for you if you're struggling. Just a little bit with anything, right? So, August, um, we have coming up on the 18th, the new moon. It's going to be the new moon on the 18th. What that means is it's the dark of the moon. It's the end of a cycle. It's the end of a moon cycle. And every moon cycle is very, very important to pay attention to. You have to pay attention to where it actually rises the next morning to understand what powers you have available to you. <laughs> or what may show up so that you're not blindsided. It's like, you know, every golf course has like... Uh, where all the hazards are, go to any golf course. They will tell you, this is where the sand pit is, this is, where the, this is, this is like a par five, this is a par three. <laughs> so if you have the road map of the stars, then you know where all the hazards are. Otherwise, you don't know where they are, and um, it's going to hit you blindsided, okay? So what, what we're having, Mercury conjunct the moon. You want to find out in your birth chart where Mercury is. What is Mercury? Mercury is the planet of communication. You know the whole thing about Mercury retrograde and all that jazz? Mercury retrograde is an energy. It emits a transference of electromagnetic energy, pulse waves and plasma, whatever it does, I don't know. Is it the sun only the one that has plasma in us? So, which is why the sun's so important. Anyway, let's get back to Pluto. Did I say Pluto? Mercury, Mercury. <laughs> Pluto comes in later. Hint, hint, hint. <laughs> Look at what happened in December 21st. Not to get ahead of myself, but a little plug for the foreshadow. A little plug for what's going to happen and why it's so important that you harness your energy now. Harness your energy now in August before the harvest of September, which would be the autumn equinox. <laughs> so you have to take everything that you have within yourself all your spiritual whatever, your connection to God, your connection to God is whatever floats your boat, Noah. <laughs> you want to be able to understand that the stars and the planets actually affect you and bring your consciousness every single day, your consciousness of what you're doing and what you're experiencing, and then you take a look at what these planets represent. If you're interested, anyway, Mercury for me, um, I know exactly where mine is. It's in Aquarius. I'm a, I'm a communicator. <laughs> and Mercury's in Aquarius. And it's conjunct with the moon. So I've been experiencing um, interesting things with communication and recognizing that we have to police our thoughts more than ever. And what are they trying to get rid of as above, so below? They're trying to get rid of the police. So this physical and the spiritual realm you must police your thoughts. Otherwise, your thoughts are going to be like those rioters, and they're going to destroy you. Oh, did I tell you my best friend from, from high school, my childhood years, K-12, through just committed suicide the end of July? Yeah, so I've been doing some deep thinking about this. So whatever her, she and she and I, we are so much alike. So I, I, I love her. May she rest in peace. May she rest in peace. But she didn't have this knowledge. So we've helped her. And other things were involved. Isolation, a recent breakup. So, this is a war. 
and you will be your own undoing if you allow thoughts to get into your head and tell you this or that and make you panic or make you fear, fear for your life or try to kill yourself or party too hard or whatever. You must take a look at your life and go, I like living. I, like, I love life. If these are my last days, if, 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 which I doubt, make them joyful. <laughs> You've got to find the joy in every day. You have to find the joy in every day. You must find the joy in every day. You must. And you must express gratitude and appreciation for the people in your life. Call them. So Mercury is going to go conjunct with the moon, so maybe that's a good time, I would suggest, to be able to vocalize your shadow. If not to a loved one, to a, to a diary. Have fun, but also be vigilant. Meditate. Yoga would be good. Get into what is true for you from the heart space, not from the head space and learn to feel from here. Your thoughts, if they're under attack, if they're under a psychic attack, let's just pretend <laughs> that's possible. Let's just pretend. Uh, you gonna believe this? Only if you don't have mastery over this. But before you actually, well, in conjunction with the heart, space is um, the will center. And guess what creates a cloudy will center? You guessed it, girlfriend. You guessed it, boyfriend. Guess what causes that? Inability to work the will. Guess what causes that? Can anybody guess? Class. <laughs> Class. Anybody listening? <clears throat> you guessed it. That's right. Mental mind disturbances. The story, the third chakra. So you have to amp it up. Yoga would be good. Getting outside. <clears throat> the water time. Yeah, guys. Mental mind disturbances. Breaking down the will of the person. You don't have to fear the disease. But you do have to fear. Uh, but you don't have to fear. You have to face your own darkness, your own freakazoidness. You gotta <clears throat> do what you do with it, but um, I suggest you don't destroy it. I suggest you don't destroy it at all. Sure, there's something not quite right with structure, but killing the beauty of a downtown area that had worked so hard and made all these prosperous years and doing all of this damage for why? I'm pissed off. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, have fun, but be vigilant. Watch the signs. Meditate. Yoga would be good. Any kind, gentle thing you can do, do it. First with yourself. Be gentle. Also, when you stretch, you know, stretch gently. You don't have to go hot wild. Have fun. Move your body. Have a party with some friends. <laughs> Insist on positivity and optimism. Like, does somebody have a vision that's positive? Does, does anybody have... All mine are like, are going to uh, maintain their healthy bodies by um, recognizing our God, God's given bodies are so strong. All of us grew up in the country. We spent so much time in the country amongst you know, dirt. <laughs> so, um, love and support everyone that you can energetically, but call them. <laughs> and connect, because connection is everything. So that's all for now, and um, I am going to do these far and few between. However, um, you don't have to subscribe to me because you'll never be notified, um, because that's been shadow banned. So what you want to do instead is just, like, Put me in like 
on a piece of paper and you'd be, hey, every now and then I'm going to go check her channel. <laughs> and uh, just put in hashtag Cat Woodland and you'll find my channel. Um, so, what was I going to tell you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, it's very dangerous to be on Google now. It's very dangerous to like things. It's very dangerous to leave comments. In my opinion, um, there's bots out there. There's bots and agents. And there are um, sites that will be like, yeah, we want this. We, we think like you. And then they're actually, it's, it's a, the old bait and switch routine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like good cop, bad cop. So these are all hints. You need to be policing yourself, acting in the utmost of dignified way, uh, recognizing that there is some shit going down that's pretty heavy, <laughs> and it stinks. However, I'm so glad I can still smell. <laughs> we'll talk later.